In 2022, Ukraine faced a military giant with limited resources, but desperation bred innovation. Ordinary citizens, engineers, students, even grandmothers began building combat drones on kitchen tables using 3D printers and recycled electronics. These $500 homemade weapons would soon challenge Russia's $10 million tanks, proving that in modern war, creativity trumps budget. The People's Drone Corps was born not in factories, but in basements across Ukraine. Ukrainian makers rapidly iterated designs through telegram groups, sharing blueprints for FPV, first-person view drones capable of carrying grenades. Using cheap commercial parts like GoPro cameras and modified baby monitors for radio links, they created swarms of flying sniper rifles. By mid-2023, over 50,000 such drones were built monthly. Their secret? Modular designs allowing quick repairs, a damaged drone could be rebuilt in 20 minutes using bike parts and glue. The results stunned militaries worldwide. In one documented strike, a $300 Ukrainian drone destroyed a Russian T-90M tank worth $4.5 million by dropping a modified RPG warhead. Thermal footage shows drones evading jamming systems by flying at treetop height. They're like mosquitoes. You can't swat them all admitted a captured Russian officer. By 2024, 60% of verified Russian armor losses were attributed to these DIY drones. Russia deployed Chinese-made jammers and turtle tanks with metal roofs, but Ukrainians adapted within days. They switched to mesh networks avoiding radio frequencies, and drones began carrying shaped charges to penetrate armor. A meme circulated, Russian equipment arrives in three years, Ukrainian upgrades take three hours. Even electronic warfare units became targets. Drones now drop explosives on jamming devices themselves. Ukraine's drone revolution proves that asymmetric warfare has entered the algorithmic age. AI-assisted targeting apps now help recruits hit targets with 90% accuracy after just one week of training. As one engineer turned soldier told us, they have factories, but we have GitHub. From Taiwan to Sudan, militaries are studying this model. The lesson is clear. In 21st century combat, innovation isn't just helpful, it's survival.